look at that, another beautiful day for scrapping. All right, there's scrappers. Today I got, this is coax cable, like from a television. It's got the weird little screwing plug. You find them, you know, they screw in the back of your VCR or whatnot. But um, this end is brass. And magnet's not sticking that either, but that's usually steel. So I can feel the magnet wants to stick to the wire. But how I usually get these the brass ends out, you know, because this one's usually they just pull out, but this one's kind of crimped in, pressed in, molded in. What I do is I'll give it a couple squeezes. A little squeezy here, a little squeezy there. Loosens it up, and then it just pulls right out. Ah, maybe I give it a couple more little squeezies. Here, and it just pulls right out. And nice little piece of brass right there. Now, when I scrap this stuff, if you just throw this in your number two insulated bucket, just the way it is, my scrapyard calls this copper bearing because it doesn't have enough copper in it to call it number two insulated. But once you get these ends out, this scrapyard can't tell what it is. So I'll even just to make the scrapyard happy, I'll throw these ends in my copper bearing bucket. Then they'll have no idea what it is. It looks like a computer wire extension cord or something. But if you can see, if you can tell, there's a good way to test coax cable. You nip off a little bit, and a magnet will pick it right up. That's got a steel core in it. Um, you know, I have seen it copper cord, but this is most of it's steel core now. So there you go. That wasn't too bad. So I got some copper bearing for the old copper bearing bucket. I got some nice yummy brass for the brass bucket. And some number two insulated for my number two insulated bucket. So just remember guys, uh, scrap is everywhere. All you gotta do is find it, sort it, and hoard it. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.